He's been charged for hitting a teenager on a scooter, but tonight we're getting some new reaction from this Dallas City Councilman. Tonight, Kevin Felder is defending himself and maintaining his innocence. Ardemont Fernandez was at a closed event and heard the Councilman's side of the story. No cameras allowed and no audio or visual recording. Those are the rules organizers say were laid out by Stronghold Christian Church in Buckner Terrace as Dallas Councilman Kevin Felder held an information session to discuss the alleged scooter accident for which he's now facing criminal charges. It's a big diversion from taking care of the people of the district. Concerned residents from across Felder's district showed up to hear what the councilman had to say about that February 13th crash. Felder's accused of hitting a disabled teen who was riding a Lime scooter along Malcolm X Boulevard in South Dallas and leaving the scene. I'm coming not for the questions, but actually for the truth. Felder gave a brief statement in the church telling the crowd the young man was zigzagging down Malcolm X so no one could get past him. Felder claims he blew his horn several times, but got a lot of expletives and disrespect from the teen. Felder told the group he became more and more agitated, took his backpack off and unzipped it. That's when I took off. And we're trying to really limit the possibility of this case getting tried in the media. Felder's attorney Pete Schulte responded to most of the residents' questions during the meeting, in addition to questioning the credibility of the eyewitness who called police and suggesting Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall inserted herself into the case by calling Felder about an accident which Felder claims never happened. But the whole time, his lawyer talked the whole time. So we, okay, we wanted to hear from you. Others say they were satisfied the councilman's addressing the controversy. We got the answers we needed, and it was a clear, precise, consistent answers, and that's that's what we were looking for. Hey, Kevin's got his side, the kids got his side, and you got the truth. And before wrapping up his comments, Councilman Felder said they have all the evidence they need to prove his innocence. Well, residents say they'll see how this all plays out in court. In Buckner Terrace, I'm Demond Fernandez.